very few people know that in the Eastern Cape we have had no less than 15 or 16 world champions and, and uh, 60 or so local South African champions. The reason I'm interested in it is that I'm, I'm fascinated by the possibilities for economic renewal in the country where people do things because they want to do them, because their, su their survival needs at the point at which they are located are stronger and that they are able to innovate a lot more where they are located. And it strikes me that boxing is a very good example of how something with very local origins grows into a huge thing. I have identified three boxers who represent three generations of boxing. The first one is Happy Boy Mklachi, who is a boxing phenomenon who changed the face of boxing in the Eastern Cape. The second one is uh, Vuyani Bungu, who is a legend and defended his title successfully 13 times. The third one is uh, Nkosinati Joy. He is very young, is a, a featherweight uh, current uh, IBF champion. And it was fascinating to watch this small frame deliver so much power. I'm interested in answering the question, why has the Eastern Cape produced so many outstanding world-class boxers? The book that I hope to write uh, about this phenomenon will be a mix of biography on the individual boxers and then an attempt to understand the social, socio-political and economic origins of the boxing industry in the Eastern Cape and how these three boxers as individuals at different times interacted with those historical conditions.